New Weetabix chocolate spoon size. Fuel for fun. Are you working too hard to take care of yourself? And do you feel so stressed that you may need a little bit break? Do you feel like completely blind and don't know where you are? We are excited to announce the most beautiful biome in the world, Temporary Deciduous Forest. It is known for its distinctive seasons and a variety of biological diversity. The time of year you visit may determine the organisms and plants that you encounter on your tour. Right, so be prepared to meet the surprise, because this biome is temperate. When touring, be sure to remember the weather is always subject to change. So tour when you feel you will be most comfortable. Producers in temperate deciduous forests include ferns, berry bushes, fruit trees, fungi, the seeds, fruits, flowers, and leaves. From these producers sustain insects and small herbivorous mammals. While consumers include birds, mice, rats, squirrels. Recount, raven, cross, mountain lions, bears, wolves, and it's time for us to answer your questions. We will try our best to make sure that you have a nice experience in the temperate deciduous forest. Hi, Stephen. Hello, Harry Potter and Tonki Gaga. What's up, my friend? I'm really looking forward to travel there. But um, what does deciduous really mean? It means that exactly what the leaves of the deciduous trees do. The changing color in autumn, the leaves fall off during winter and grow back again in the spring. This adaption helps the tree to survive during winter. Hmm, I see. But where is it located? They are located in the mid latitudes such as eastern United States. Canada, Europe, China, and Japan. And uh, what about the climate there? Is it hot or cold? What should I bring with me? The yearly temperature is about 10 degrees Celsius, and that temperate deciduous forest gets about 30 to 60 inches of precipitation yearly. So this is necessary for you to bring the sweater and umbrella. So, what's the best season to visit for me? The temperate deciduous forest has four distinctive seasons spring, summer, autumn, and winter. This forest has the hot summers and cold winters. But when it comes to spring, the sunlight reaches the forest floor quickly and warms the soil. Abundant sunlight in the spring supports many spring wildflowers. So you may go there in spring to see a variety of flowers. Great! What are some activities that I can enjoy there? Well, you can go climbing the trees as many as you want. As long as you don't fall. And you can go swimming in a stream of river. Are you kidding me? Sorry, Steven. Let me tell you, because there are hundreds of breathtaking scenic opportunities. Take your camera and go recording beautiful sceneries. Secondly, bounty is very prevalent in the temperate deciduous forest biome. This biome is extremely popular to both local and foreign hunters looking for a challenge. From white-tailed deer to rough grass, be sure to make the temperate deciduous forest a choice for great hunting expeditions. Mm. 
Sounds good, but I have a really professional question. That is, what are the other features of this plane? This is a good question. Here are some typical plants. White oak. White oak can reach heights of 80 feet. The leaves, which can be 8 inches in length, are a shade of blue green, and in the summer they can change to a purple red. Northern arrowwood. Northern arrowwood shrub is extremely cold hard. Leaf shrub. In the fall, the leaves can turn various shades, including red, purple red, and yellow. Carpet moss. Carpet moss is a real less evergreen plant that covers the ground similar to the ca carpet. During the various seasons of the year, they can range in color from dark green to golden green. And here are some typical animals. Black bear. The black bear is a medium-sized bear that lives in the temperate deciduous forest. They feed on wild berries, fish, and various insects such as bees or ants. White-tailed deer. White-tailed deer get their name from the brilliant white shade of their tails. Raccoon The raccoon is a small mammal with brown and gray fur on its body and white and black fur on its face. They can swing, climb trees, and run quickly in search of food. I'm really eager to go now! Open Gangnam Style! That's not the end. Here are some other features. Forests maintain water flowing streams, and their shade keeps the water cool. Go and taste it. This is much better than tap water. In this picture, you can see nothing but pure green. Your soul will be edified in this heavenly sensory and this is also good for your eyes, isn't it? Trees lose their leaf during the fall months, as shown here which will give you a different mood. <coughs> Wonderful! Thank both of you answer my question. Bye-bye. You guys get that? You are welcome. And there's something I need to remind you guys. Because temperate deciduous forest lies in regions favorable to human habitation due to rich soils and a relatively mild climate. As a result, Human encroachment often negatively impacts this environment. Historically, large predators were targeted by human hunters, and extensive logging operations have eliminated large swaths of forest, as well as those habitats. So be sure to cherish our invaluable environment.